The path leads high into the rugged mountains of eastern Albania and 1,500 years back into history to a tiny chapel. Art restorer Gentian Stratoberda and Orthodox priest Yanni Ranja come up here often. Early this year, they made a shocking and tragic discovery. They started here and smashed the Madonna icons here and here. That's right. The icon's head is missing. The vandals tried to hack the frescoes off the walls of the Shan Premta chapel with axes and knives. They were the work of the renowned 16th century icon painter Onufri. The guards were laid off a year and a half before for lack of funding. None of our cultural treasures are guarded. Over the past 20 years, countless churches have been plundered. This is just one example. Even worse, the police tried to hush the matter up. They didn't come here from Tirana for three days and only under pressure from us. They just looked around and took off again. And two weeks later, there was another break-in and more frescoes were stolen and destroyed. The Institute of Cultural Monuments in the capital, Tirana, is trying to save what it can, piecing together what was left behind. And yet the institute director, Apollon Bace, does not believe the authorities could have done any more to protect the cultural treasures in the first place. There's no clear jurisdiction. Here, unfortunately, we've got five or six agencies that share responsibility. The police, the church, the conservation authority, the ministry. All of them share responsibility and nobody's responsible. Many Albanians realize that, and in spring, a group of conservationists demonstrated in front of the Ministry of Culture, accusing Institute Director Bace and other agencies of indifference and corruption. Protest organizer Aron Tare shows some of the results of what he terms the government's negligence. In the city of Duris, for example, is the largest preserved Roman amphitheater in the Balkans, dating back to the second century but the city let developers build villas right on top of it. Now, he says, they're destabilizing the amphitheater. After the fall of communism, we started on a systematic destruction of our cultural heritage. Unfortunately, our worst enemies aren't the thieves and vandals, but the very institutions that are charged with protecting these treasures. Tare and some volunteers are taking it upon themselves to stop the destruction, both on land and underwater. Plunderers have even raided archaeological sites in the Adriatic Sea. One of the kingpins in the antiquities racket is the Golden Dawn, a far right-wing party in Greece. An Orthodox priest calls believers to worship. The Greek extremists haven't been here yet, or they would have scraped off all the faces in the frescoes, trying to make it look like the work of Muslims, as some experts claim. Gentian Stratoberda is hoping the newly elected government will make good on its promises to protect Albania's cultural treasures.